I'm Bobby Lane. And I'm Lee Veris. We're going to lead a photo tour to Turkey May 26th until June 7th. And we'd like to tell you a little bit about it because we'd love you to come and join us. Turkey is a fabulous place, both exotic and accessible. It's rich in history, really warm, friendly people, great food. <laughs> Uh, and we're going to be going all over the place uh, and, and doing everything from landscapes to architecture, travel portraits, um, just plenty of opportunities to take really amazing pictures. It's really rich subject matter and, and great to be able to get into the people and the way that people live and, and understanding all the history. It's really wonderful. Um, we'll be helping you with, with travel, travel portraits, with composition design. I'll be working with you on lighting, natural light, and with using portable flash on people, as well as architecture and landscape. And I'm going to be helping you with post-processing, color correcting, maybe even some retouching. We're going to get your pictures in the best possible light. We're going to make them look fantastic. So you're going to end up with the best pictures you've ever taken in your whole life. It's really going to be great. Did we say about the good food? Yes, <laughs> yeah, great Good food. food. <laughs> and, uh, Absolutely. We are, we're going to be staying at some really marvelous some places, wonderful places. And great hotels. And uh, we're going to be there every step of the way to help you with your photography. This is not like a photo tour where the photographer that leads the tour disappears as soon as you get to the location. We're going to be there helping you all every step of the way. We also have a guide who is very experienced. He is Turkish, but he's also a photographer. So he's familiar with all of these places and knows the best places to take us and the timings. We have all that set. And what places are we going to go well, to? Well, we're, we're, we're going to start in Istanbul. Istanbul, I've been there before, and it is, it is one of the most world-class cities. So fascinating. I could easily spend a month there. And then we're going to go to Ephesus. Mm -hmm, Ephesus. And that's, after that, we're going to go to Cappadocia. Yes, Cappadocia. Let's see, where else are we going here? We're going to go to uh, Adiyama. And uh, uh, San Liurfa. And then we're going to come back to Istanbul. We're, we're going to end in Istanbul. And but, we, you didn't mention uh, Pamukkale. Pamukkale. <laughs> Pamukkale. Pamukkale. <laughs> Pamukkale. I love yes, that's, that's yeah. the place where the, the Travertine falls. Oh, it's just going to be amazing. Yeah. So what we'd like to do is we'd like to show you some pictures of this so you have a better idea about the kind of places that we're going to go and the kind of pictures that you're going to be able to make. So please come join us. We're going to have fun. Oh, it's going to be a blast. We're going to show you some of the highlights of our tour to Turkey. And we're going to start in Istanbul, a truly historical land that rich in culture and history, the only city in the world that actually straddles two continents, Europe and Asia. So many photographic opportunities there. The historical gems consist of a lot of Ottoman and Byzantine architecture. Everywhere you look, including the old city where we'll be lodging, we'll be visiting the Blue Mosque, a place of, of wonderful historical and spiritual significance. For me, one of the most important things in Istanbul is the people. The people are beautiful, open, friendly. They love to talk to you. They love to share what they do. You know, we already mentioned the food, but we're going to bring it up again. Pomegranates are really fantastic there, as is the honey. In my first trip to Istanbul, we found this restaurant, and they took us in, and they showed us this is how they cook the, the goats in these deep wells. There's a rich social atmosphere with the men, especially in Turkey. They get together and they play chess and they play dominoes. They drink the Turkish tea and they get together and they talk about the events of the day. They share their experiences. Really fantastic faces and just friendly, wonderful, lovely people. And a lot of the culture is centered around the tea and yes, we will be drinking a lot of it. The, uh, the, the street shooting is also fantastic. Wonderful colors and textures everywhere, and, and people are pretty open. We also have, you know, the Turkish cats are pretty cool too. You're going to see them a lot, as well as the Turkish kids. The kids are just a blast. Of course, everywhere we go, they're just open and friendly and willing to laugh and to pose for you and have a great time. Wonderful snippets of life everywhere you look. And of course, we'll be going to the Grand Bazaar, which is the oldest and largest covered market. Well, maybe not the oldest, but one of the oldest markets in the world. 5,000 shops, two mosques, 61 streets, an incredible visual as well as shopping experience. There, of course, are tea runners there too to enhance your shopping experience. We'll be visiting Ephesus to photograph the largest collection of Roman ruins on the eastern Mediterranean. 
Now I must mention here that other than Istanbul, neither of us have been to these other places, so we've had to pull photos from Wikipedia. Now we're going to be working with an experienced Turkish photographer as our guide, so, so no worries, this is a seriously well-planned itinerary. We'll go to Ephesus for an early morning photo shoot of the massive ruins of this ancient Roman city. Architectural photography will be the order of the day. And these ruins are the best preserved Roman city in the world, better even than Pompeii, with numerous opportunities to take great photos. Next up is Pamakali, which has been on my top of my list of places that I would want to visit for, oh, I don't know, forever, ever since I first saw the pictures. You've all seen this place. This is the place where there are the calcium terrace formations, the travertine, the water coming down, falling down over this. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Photographic opportunities here are absolutely amazing, and we'll have plenty of time to photograph these pristine white cliffs that are above this spa town. This is truly unlike any other place in the world. Next up, we'll spend three days in Cappadocia. This is a really amazing place. We'll be spending a good amount of time photographing the lunar-like landscape, shooting the small, quaint villages, underground cities, cave churches, and houses carved out of rock. The massive Gorame Rocking Church, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, and the volcanic ash landscape will keep us busy. At sunset, we'll photograph Uchisar, which is a natural rock formation citadel and the highest point in Cappadocia. Early in the morning, we'll photograph the sand dune-like tufa formations and make use of the early light. We'll then hop from ferry chimney to ferry chimney, photographing these unique phallic-like rock formations from various angles. Outside of Adiaman, we'll be visiting Mount Nemrut. This is a one-hour easy climb. We'll be going up there for early morning shoot. This is the place where the, the giant statues of the heads of Zeus, Apollo, Hercules, and other gods, they're all in the open-air temple that was built in the first century BC. Our next stop is San Lirifa, known as the City of Prophets. We'll spend time in the ancient bazaar doing street photography and portraiture. And we'll see Abraham's pool filled with fish. And uh, we're going to be staying in a hotel that is a four-star, first-class hotel located right in the center of the old city. We end our adventure in Istanbul. We come back and photograph the Hagia Sophia, which was built in the 6th century. It's a massive basilica built for a Roman emperor and was the largest church in, our largest Christian church in the world for a thousand years. Its domed roof and mosaics make this an absolute masterpiece of engineering, truly the most spectacular structure that I have ever visited. And the light inside of there is fantastic. Uh, this is located in the Sutalamet Square. Istanbul has the Bosphorus going right through the middle of it, and walking over the bridge you see these floating restaurants with the mosques in the distance. It's, it's a spectacular place. Our last night we will photograph a whirling dervish ritual and then we'll have our farewell dinner. This is going to be a truly epic photo tour of the magical place. We hope that you can join us. Mention this video and receive a discount off the normal fees. Thanks for watching and see, see you, you in Turkey! Turkey.